Hello, whenever you are seeing this, I hope you know how loved you are. I have not been on here in a very long time, and I do apologize for that. I feel like I have been trying to be very present in life. I get a lot of questions regarding my skin graft, and honestly, I haven't really gone over it. Um, my skin graft was probably one of the hardest parts of the whole surgery, mainly because it was such a big area that had been opened up. My skin graft was very crucial to the surgery, and from here is what you are seeing on my lip. It is from the inside of my arm. Um, this line going down right here is what they connected in through here. It is the artery and the nerve so that I can eventually feel my lip, which is coming along. I am able to pinch it and definitely feel it. So that is really cool. Also, when I drink cold or hot drinks, I can actually feel the temperature on my lip, which I didn't even think was going to be possible. So when I drink cold water, I can feel my upper lip get really cold. So that means the nerves and like all the senses are working. So it's super kind of unreal to be able to feel that. Um, okay. So then to this skin you are seeing is from here. So basically what they did was take my arm and kind of pulled it out and then cut that skin, sewed it, and then they placed it here. After my surgery, when I was a little bit better, um, I think a week after I was recommended to go to occupational therapy, it wasn't really recommended. It was basically I had to go. And I, let me tell you, if I didn't go to that, I don't think my wrist would be able to bend at all. I worked um, once a week for six weeks on my left arm going to occupational therapy and my occupational therapist helped me tremendously i don't think they get enough credit they're honestly one of the most crucial parts to an after part of your surgery if i did not go to occupational therapy my hand would not be able to bend at all um, i have full rotation of my arm which is really nice and i'm super thankful for that i have been able to work out and honestly weight train with my wrist and my hand is a little slower on this side especially i notice it with skateboarding um, I usually do a lot of grabs with this hand and my brain and my hand like they don't work at the same time like I don't know how to explain it um, like when I jump out of a bowl and I go to grab my board it like doesn't have the proper like strength and timing another thing that I've noticed with my arm is if I like go to a workout class or anything in general I can't do a push-up for a long standard period of time it just hurts my wrist a lot. My arm and the healing process, I will post pictures of, of how it healed. I would say it felt completely healed for four months. Also, another very important thing that my doctor did with the surgery is he hid my scar lines. You can't see my scars at all until I go like this. Same with the back of my arm, you can't really see. If you don't really know what I've gone through, you would not see them at all. So it's pretty cool that he was able to hide them like that. Um, I was very adamant about not wanting any more scars than I already needed because I did have a lot going on with my face, um, my neck, and then also my wrist. So being able to hide the scars were really cool. Obviously scars are super beautiful and I fully accepted them and I love them, but it was nice that he was able to hide the scar line within my arm. The next steps with my surgery are going to be tattooing the lip. I have a consultation soon. I am a little nervous because I feel like I've had nothing here for so long. Um, when I do outline my lip and make videos of myself having lip gloss on my upper lip, it does trip me out because it looks like something that I'm not used to. Um, I haven't had a color or anything on for two and a half years. So I think it's definitely gonna be a change. I know I'm gonna love it eventually, but I am definitely gonna be a little scared at first. Um, the scars are healing really nice. Um, my doctor put the central column and then also the lip line. The lip line honestly is kind of going away. Um, my face heals really good to scar. So it's not too bad of a scar. Um, I have a meeting with my doctor soon and then a consultation with a tattoo artist for my lip. My doctor will be going to both of those with me. Um, I think it's really important that he goes. It has been healing really well. A lot of the swelling has gone down. In the last surgery, my doctor did do the central column. He did take that stitch out pretty early on. Stitch, it was turning black and blue and we didn't want the lip to die. So we were being very cautious, which is not a bad thing. I am happy that it's healthy because it did look black and blue and it was scaring us a bit. So yeah, everything has been healing well, thank God. And up next, I have the consultation for the tattoo. So obviously I will be taking you guys with me. I am so excited for this next process and I am so thankful for all of you. Whenever you're seeing this, go hug someone you love today.